How's it going everyone? I am excited about today, though I'll tell you I feel ill-prepared. <laughs> Why is the music so loud too? Turn that baby down a little bit. Alright, top notch! Well, hopefully everyone is doing okay. We're continuing on with our quest, the EESS. -E We've done the EEs and now we're moving on to the SSs. You caught me before I was able to get all my equipment ready, but hey, We'll, uh, we'll get this done together and that way you'll be able to kind of uh, see what I'm doing and then you can do similar things in your game if that's helpful to you. Let's see who's here today though. Carson Dunn, Austin Martinez, G -Day, GD, Jack Attack, Special Gamer Dude, uh, Icy Josh, Connor, 9132, 50k on the spot, Taven is here, uh, Alpine KB. M, Caleb's TV as well, JR BMXer. GD Jack Attack again, Gushif, Gushif, Ish, Ish, Ish. <laughs> Pro Gamer 2.0, uh, Dark Fire is here, Brandon Jones, Sunny X, uh, David Probus is in the house, good to see, Jack Attack, Rohan is here, man, I haven't seen you in a while, bro, glad to see you though, Dragyot's here, oh gosh, just messed up my, here we go, Gerald Brown, the music is a bop, Luke Strong, Calvin Blunt, Sunny X, uh, let's see, am I caught up? Am I caught up? Alfie Thomas, Derek is here. How's it going, Derek? Ultra memes, Shiner Galore. That's a lot. I had 300 once. I, I'm sure I bought like 200 of them, and I'm just this is what I'm down to. But I think it'll be okay for this stream, hopefully. Anyway, Aloha, man. Keone, hello. Hopefully, I said that correctly. 
Hey, David Probst is throwing that in the chat. Sunny X Last Breath is here as well. Cool. Right on, everyone. Well, I tell you what, like I said, I'm a little behind here. I'm throwing stuff in. We are going to make sure that we have a few things in our inventory for the SS St. Croix and San Joaquin. Um, first off, we're going to make sure we have shiners and we have minnows. That's going to be huge for the pike at St. Croix. And then I'm going to make sure that I have spawn sacks for the sturgeon at San Joaquin. Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, uh, I have a few float rods. Float rods is what I generally use for the uh, pike at St. Croix, and I'll show you some other things as well. But uh, first, I need to get uh, my reels here set, set together. <laughs> I'm, I'm terribly behind. Uh, here we go, here we go. I know I bought specific, I bought things specifically for these rods. I, 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 I fished for pike for so long that I eventually just bought entire setups for fishing for pike. So there should be, we should be able to find that here. Here we go, 24.2. Hornet swarms. Hornet swarms, 24.2s on this. And then we need one more that's around 22 here. Not sure what I have here. Okay, guess we're gonna be using this line glider. Good deal, that'll work. Um, now we need some line. We have some 23 pound braid that we can put on this. Put on this, I guess. 23 pound braid. And then... Backpack is full. Psh, I'll show you full. You probably go ahead and just put the 19 pound braid on this run. And I'm just gonna throw the rest in my backpack because I don't know what I need. I'm gonna put all these fluorocarbon leers away, at least some of the the smaller ones. We could probably keep these 53 pound ones. And we can keep those too. Oh, titanium leaders. We will need some heavier titanium leaders. That 22 pound one we'll need. Um, but we're gonna need more of them. Okay, so we got a 22 pound leader. We're gonna throw this bad boy on here. And we should have more leaders as well, but let's make sure we got the rest of our line too. You hear the pike are great. You hear the pike are great at St. Croix, is that what you say? Marshall V's been sub since 5K, right on, man. I, re I really appreciate it. Look at that, you have me stuttering. One of your favorite YouTubers, well thanks, Dark Fire. You're killing it, you're, 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 you're making me blush. You see me getting all red here? It's not because my room is hot, it's because you're making me blush. Oh, uh, let's see here. 23 pound braid. You can probably go with that. That sounds pretty good. I'm gonna do 500 here. We'll put 500 on that one. We're gonna put 500 on this one. And now, I did put, right, yeah, I did, okay. Making sure. Uh, now we just need some bobbers. Now we have a few bobbers here. Yeah that one and we have this one now we just need one more let's choose this one and now we're on to hooks for uh for these uh pike i'm gonna be using seven knots uh barbless hooks i think the seven knots do a pretty darn good job of uh getting a wide wider range of pike you some people will say to use uh larger ones i have used larger ones and uh i just think you're really hurting your chances of catching smaller pike um, as well as larger pike, you know, everything in between. And so I think the seven knots a good, good balance, I guess. Um, but we need one last thing. Let's see. Titanium. We need titanium leaders. Uh, here we go. I think I'm going to go ahead and use 26 pounds. It's a little bit more than our setup requires. But uh, that's what we're gonna use, and yeah, we got bait, so we're uh, we're good to go there. I'm gonna go with the. Uh, let's do let's do shiners on two of them, and uh, large minnows on the last one just for funsies. I don't think it's gonna make much much of a difference, but that's how we're gonna do it. Okay, before we get too far ahead, we do need to have um, our setups for San Joaquin. This is gonna be a little bit larger because we're going for larger fish, being the white sturgeon. So. We're gonna do that a little bit differently. Just realize there's a pig eye in the game. Oh yeah, it's part of the Halloween events. 
just got a melanistic mule deer. It's weird. I've shot an albino and melanistic haven't got a diamond. Well, dang. I guess you're just lucky in a weird way, eh? Hit by a tornado, so now you're scared of storms. Bro, that's crazy. Um, yeah, growing up in Kansas, we've had our fair share of tornadoes, but luckily they haven't ever uh, done anything terrible to wherever I lived, so. But they certainly have around us. First like, you guys should like the vid. That fantastic, fantastic tip there, pro gamer. Whenever you log off when you're somewhere, it makes the days change, so you're stuck with a really bad day at Emerald Lake. You're not stuck. You can change the day if you want to, if you, if you. I guess I don't know about logging off. It should only change if the day's over or at like 11 o'clock or something at night, the server like flips the days or something like that. I, they might have changed it. I don't know what time it is now, but hoverboard hurts. Oh my gosh, Jack Attack. Hope everyone's having a good night. I do too. Yikes, Jessica. Hope you're okay. Hello, Tyranno King. How's it going? Austin Munich. Friday, get my cast next Friday. I have one plate and five screws in my foot. Bro, that's terrible. Well, hopefully it heals fast. 125 likes because of the 125 stream. I understand. Yeah, that's exactly what we need. What we also need is uh, reels to go on this and for us to actually start fishing instead of me talking with my inventory open. So we're going to do that. <laughs> uh, we need 53 pounds. Do I have any reels in here? No, I don't. Gosh, dang it. 53 pounds or more. Here we go. We got 53 pound Leviathan 9,000 there. Gonna throw that on, and then we're gonna throw the 57 pounder on this one. Now we just need some line. Um, what do we got in here? We got leaders in here. That's it. Okay. Good to see. Good to see. Good to see we're prepared. All right. So we need 57 pound braid on this one. Gonna get the 53 pound braid on this one, and we need 53 pound braid on this one. And now we just need some sinkers. We have good sinkers. We do have good sinkers. All right, throwing some six ounce sinkers on here. Too light for the rod. Yeah, I know, bro. What are you doing? Silly goobers trying to tell me something I already know. All right, let's see here. Fluorocarbon, we're gonna throw a 60 pound liter on that. We're gonna throw a 53 pound liter on this. And another one. And I honestly can't remember what size of hook to use for, uh, for the sturgeon, I want to say it's not big. Golly, I can't remember now. I thought it was like a five, wasn't it? Four? So I can't remember. I don't know. We'll start with a four and we'll go up from there, I guess. I'm trying to recall. Okie dokies. Cause I don't have any other hook. I don't have any other barbless hooks. Don't think anyway. Marvel hooks four. Hook five. I guess we got a five hot hook. Hmm. Okay. Well, in any case, we are prepared to go to St. Croix, so let's do that. <laughs> oh, golly. Got an advanced license, which is going to be importante. And uh, you certainly could use uh, a rod to go after some of the other fish uh, while you're waiting for the pike, but if you've got a good enough time, you shouldn't have any time to be doing extra casts anyway and dealing with that. So we're just gonna we're just gonna go for it. Let's go see how we do. Football god, yep, nice. You win, Noah. Me two two four is in the house. Good to see you. What's the best XP farm from level forty two to fifty in your opinion? Don't you worry, I'm going to show you, man. That's what this video is all about. Going into a friend's room. If anyone wants to join in at St. Croix, that's what we can do. This music is depressing. It's... Come on. I chose an upbeat song and said pick, pick ones that are similar to it, and then they hit me up with this. You know what? We're just gonna have to go to a classic. Going back to a classic, that's all I can say. Can't go wrong with this playlist. Just turn level 30, don't have enough big enough fish keeper for Pike. What do I grind for to get a big one? Large mouth in the Everglades. E-E-S-S, -S, man. 
Elliot Fenton's new. Well, good to see you, Elliot. Hope you have a good night, Jack Attack. Hey, sounds good. Still sitting without electricity from the hurricane, but we're making it. Hoping to get electricity back sooner than, than later. I agree. I agree, man. Sub today, James Pinkston. Thank you so much, man. Will you be fishing for Striper at California? Probably not. Uh, we'll see, but most likely we'll be uh, spending time trying to catch... Uh, we'll be doing the... We'll be showing off how to uh, do the sturgeon farm, basically. Fishing for sturgeon and making money off them. Taz C, last week I went to Indiana on a road trip and tried fork, fried pork tenderloin and sugar cream pie. We also saw the only working rotary jail in the U.S. Wowie zowie, man. Sounds fancy. All right, we're going to change the time to something a little bit better. This is probably a terrible day to be doing this, but we're going to be doing it anyway. Who knows? We might catch something good. All right. So essentially, I ran over from where you spawn in, over here, all the way to the opposite side, and we got this little gap in the... These aren't exactly cattails, but the weeds of some sort. And, uh, and you'll see these lily pads here, and a jumping pike. Perfect. So, I'm gonna make sure my drag is lower than I usually know what it is because I don't want it to break, and I've certainly done that before. We're gonna throw it just beyond the lily pads here. So I'm gonna throw one to the left, one in the middle here. And we're gonna throw the third one on the left. Just kidding, right of course. Love the vids, you're at St. Croix. Hey, right on, Sunny X. How do you have so much money? Fishing, man. Tony Kincaid is here. Good to see you, man. What hook size would you prefer for sturgeon? Bro, I was just thinking of that too, Hunts, man. I sure thought it was a size 5, but I don't have any barbless size 5s, so I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm second guessing myself now. Skylar Sweet with the sub. Thanks so much, Skylar. Level 9 Elliot sounds cool. Oh, that is definitely a take. I was thinking maybe it was like a... Woo! I think that's gonna be it. Boy, I had my drag set even higher on this rod. And that would have broke. Woo-wee! We got another fish on too. Come on, Eno. Get him in it, boy! There we go. There we go, starting off with a 10 pound northern pike, not too shabby. Second, third rod's going. Skylar Sweet, yo, 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 got a four week end coming up, excited about that. I would be too, no doubt. Why is it spicy? Why is it spicy? Doing the bow rush. Bow rush. There we go, 15 pounder, $1,700, 460 XP. Yeah, 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 can we get another one in? Nah, we're gonna keep it at this. Just play it, play it safe. You're in quarantine, understandable. We're still, uh, well, the area, wow, Trophy Northern Pike now, top notch. So we've gotten, uh, Two trophy northerns, 15 and a 20 pounder right away. $2,400 on this guy, 771 XP. Fantastic. Fantastic. Um, I'll, I'll, I know we had our inventory open for a long time, but just to go over this again, I, I, like I did say, I bought setups specifically for catching pike at St. Croix. So just to give more specific answers on that, I am using the Arctic's 13 foot 2 inch. Uh, 9 to 25.5 pound rod here. You can catch pike up to 40 pounds, I think. But this rod setup is is pretty good for catching the majority of pike. Um, and, and you can reel in those 35 to 40 pounders, no problem at all. Um, but this is going to make sure that you get the XP that you should get from the pike without overpowering them. Um, and then we are using the Hornet Swarm 6,000, 24.2 pounds on this guy as well. Um, and then, yep, Titanium Leader, 7 knot hook, and uh, hopefully we get a unique here soon. We'll just have to see. Lucas, did you miss anything? Not a whole lot. 
How long did it take to do something? Oh, I missed it. Let me get these out and I'll scroll up on the chat. I missed a lot of the chat, I think. How much should you save before going to the Everglades? Uh, I would, I, I don't know. That's always hard to say. You know, I would certainly make sure that you have enough money to stay there for a few days. So look and see how much it would cost you to go an extra day at Everglades and uh, and make sure you have enough money to fish there for a few extra days. Especially if your keep net's not very large, you can make the most of it. Jim Kappa's online. Oh, jeez. Kettle Lakes Provincial Park for a week got back home today. Benjamin Boys, very cool. Did you catch any fish? And the Mississippi River flow in reverse. In reverse? Bro, there's a fish going crazy on that other line there. Nine pounder, thousand dollars. Grab that rod, he nil. Grab the rod, he nil. Roof. Get him in here, boy. Caleb Steve, he says good night and goodbye. Okay, take care, Caleb. Caution, BLXX, hi. I'm being honest, fishing Indiana for the past year went from best I've ever seen to the worst where there is no fish. Oh, bro. Another little almost 10 pounder there. Yeah, we certainly uh, started off the year with not very many fish. Uh, the weather was really wacky, so it sounded like it worked in reverse for you. Sunny Axe uses four odds for the surgeon. Okay. Well, that's what we got equipped, so hopefully it works. What, what fish is the best for XP at Everglades? Uh, I actually think it's the peacock bass. But uh, I enjoy catching the largemouth more than the peacock, so just mix it up. Do do whatever. Um, if you go in between those two, I think you'll do all right. They're going to be the most common fish you catch anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Best look for Sturgeon Knife for X Series, of course. Well, how about that? The 4 uh, X Series hook is the one we're using, XD, so top notch. What fish is the best for XP at Everglades? Yeah, I answered that, okay. <laughs> you have three million in fishing planet. Well, cool. Okay, I'll test it. What is the best boat to buy? The best boat to buy is the boat that you can afford and the boat that you can get and the boat that you need because you don't need a, a boat for a lot of fishing planet. I think the first place that you... A boat might even be necessary is blue crab. And you honestly don't even need to start fishing a blue crab with a boat. You could easily fish a blue crab without a boat. There's another trophy northern, only 12 pounds there, but still fish. Still a fish. Are you guys in lockdown? We're not in lockdown. Um, the town, the little town, uh, you realize I live in Kansas City, so it's kind of fractioned up into different areas. Oh my goodness. Bill Dunn! Goodness gracious, the suspense was killing me, waiting to see what sort of words popped up from those grass. Oh gosh. Bjorn is on the prowl again. King Cobra Gaming, thank you so much for the sub. Appreciate it. There we go. You prefer Brutus is brutal for Pike. Yeah, the Brutus rods. Um, not sure what they are. 32 pounds? I can't recall what they are. are can we can we see them here? Brutus, 11 foot 10. Yeah, 33 pounds. You know, and that might work uh, for the larger pike, but if you end up catching like 10 pounders, you might lose some of the XP that you might get if you were using something a little bit uh, less strong. And, and when I first started at St. Croix, I do believe I might have been using Brutus rods as well. So uh, this, this, this is just coming from experience, the rods I'm using right now. I actually downgraded to uh, str uh, weaker rods, I guess. Bow Rush! The Bow Rush got him! Let's go, 10 pounder there. Sometimes, sometimes you're fishing, sometimes you're just fishing away and then you gotta Bow Rush him. What is going on here? Tony Kincaid with the five dollars. Thank you so much, Tony. Dude, making my day. 
appreciate it. McMullen Moto, sorry you're late. No trouble. Is the bass boat recommended for St. Croix? No. You don't need a boat for St. Croix. You see us on a boat for St. Croix right now? If you want to use a boat, if you want to just try a boat, whatever you're thinking, you know, you're thinking in your head, well, maybe I'll catch more pike if I use a boat or something like that. Then go rent a boat for 500 bucks or whatever. Bring it over here and see if you actually catch some fish. And if, if you think it's better, then maybe consider actually buying one. Um, but uh, for the most part, you don't need to buy a boat for St. Croix. I, I don't know. Best rod set up for level 9, bro. Just whatever rod you can afford, I guess. I don't know, man. <laughs> have you ever bought a pack? I have not. No, I haven't. Well, I guess I can't say that. I've bought some of the Hall like Halloween and holiday packs just for video's sake, just to make them fun. Um, you know, if, if, if I'm doing Halloween videos, I, I think it would be fun to use Halloween rods just for the video. It doesn't mean that you need to buy them or if it doesn't mean that it makes anything better. I just thought that would be fun for the video. You know, <laughs> it's basically a prop at that point. So no, no stress. Rizzy's here, how's it going? See ya, Sonny, have a great night. Icy Josh, sounds good, man. First time on the BZ upstream, C4. Crito. Well, thanks. Right on. Good to see ya. Biggest fish I caught on fishing plan was a 50 pound flathead in North Carolina. North Carolina. Gosh dang. 50 pounder, too. Wow, he's out. I didn't even. North Carolina, that's. That's Naharan, right? I didn't, I didn't even know that they got to 50 pounds at, at Naharan. I could see down at Quanchkin Lake in Mississippi that you could get them 50 pounds, but yeah, my goodness, in North Carolina, that's, that's a big fish. Terra Tarpon for so long? The Terra Tarpon is difficult, that is for sure. Use bass? Just playing Minecraft right now, right on, sounds fun. Two rainbow trout down at your place today on Grasshopper. Ooh, very cool, Caden. You have your last first your last first football game this Friday since I'll be graduating this year, which is sad because I'm gonna miss my boys on the field. Dalton Worley, I would say so. That's terrible, man. That's not fun. But you know, last game. Make the most of it, right? Your lockdown was just extended for three weeks. You know what that means? It means that uh means that you unfortunately have to stay home and play fishing planet. Dang it. Ah, hate that. Where do you live? I live in Kansas City. What is the largest fish you've got? I think I have a, I think I have a, oh gosh, didn't mean to do that. See, I usually say a hundred pounds is when you need to switch time. Is it this? Can't remember. <laughs> I don't. I don't remember which way it goes, D David. I actually don't even remember what the dang uh, tags are. Oh, there we go. Okay, here we go. Is this the other one? Hey, you helped me start off in fishing plan. Twitch, right on, man. Good to hear. Three majesties right now when I go pike fishing. Majesties? Bro, do they have lower majesties? They don't. Bro, I think a majesty's way overpowered. That's like, it's like a 57 pound rod, isn't it? You're not gonna get any XP from that. I mean, if that's, if you don't care about the XP, then th I understand, but. You, you have to get three three red arrows with every fish you catch. That would be way overpowered for the pike here. Back to back unique tarpon. Wow, cool. It's your birthday today, so very lucky you're streaming. Rizzy, I'd say so. Happy birthday. Very cool. 230 pound sturge and leviathan. Ooh, very cool. 
North Carolina flathead. David, David knows all about that. So here's the thing. This is the one bad thing about the pike. If you, you can only catch, uh, about a hundred pounds of pike and then you have to switch times. Um, it's kind of the unfortunate business of it. And usually, usually if you don't have to skip a lot of time to get fishing, it's not that big of a deal. Oh, we only have eight seconds. I was gonna say, usually if you just skip forward like an hour or two, you only have to wait like five minutes and then by the time you catch another 100 pounds of pike, then you're ready to move forward. See, three minutes and 22 seconds. You know, that's not gonna break the bank. We'll, we'll definitely spend three minutes and 22 seconds fishing for pike here. So. Ooh. That was a little close to the lilies. I will say, I think that once you get too close to the lily pads, your chance of biting like drops by half. So uh, it's better to be further away from the lily pads than on top of them, I guess. Gerald Brown's from North Carolina too, right on. Beans is here, how's it going, Beans? TR, do I remember you? TR, if you remember me, then you remember that I remember everybody. Austin Martinez broke your foot. How did you break your foot, Austin? I'm well, glad to be here. It's Crito, I agree, man. See, this guy's already in the lilies. Well, you got taken, though, so that's good. I was just about to pull him up, too, because I was like, oh, God, we have three on at the same time. So this is the difficult part because I have two rods that are the same uh, same weight and now and then I have this weak rod here. And so you have to think, okay, do I struggle with the weak rod or do I switch to one of the stronger rods and pull it in? Here we go, we got one. Got one. I don't remember which one went next. So the third one? I think it was the third one. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the second one too, just to, oh no. I was gonna say, I'm gonna reset the timer on this, but no, we missed it. Dang, man. Has a QB rating, 156.8, and the preseason just ended last Friday, and I actually went to the game. Right on, Austin. Yeah, my brother, uh, in this, this Friday vlog, you'll see my brother's wearing his Mahomes. Mahomes jersey, so very cool. For some reason, when I saw the rating, I was thinking Madden, and Madden used to max out at 99. So I was thinking, wow, 156 out of 99. They've they've made him the the most powerful QB in the in the game <laughs> game's history. My brother was telling me how he somehow. He somehow got both Mahomes and Tom Brady in his uh, NFL uh, fantasy league. I still don't know how he managed to do that, but uh, he did. So he uh, he is definitely one of those people that uh, if he sees it, if he sees the loophole somehow, takes advantage of it. I'm a little wishy-washy with my morals and that sort of stuff, but. But he did it, and now he's got both, so whatever. Lucas is from Australia. Very cool. Best, what is the best reel to fish with? L.A. Fenton. The best reel is the one that's uh, right for your level, the right for the fish that you're fishing for. You always need to have a rod and a reel that is the correct weight for the fish that you're fishing for. So if you're fishing for a fish that's five pounds, then you need to find a rod and a reel that's five pounds. You know, you have to just, con that's, that's, that's how you keep leveling up in the game. Because if you use too light of a reel, then that means that you're not going to catch the fish uh, a lot of the time. And if you use too heavy of a reel, then that means you're not going to get very much XP when you catch a fish. So that means you're going to level up slower. So you always need to catch a uh, fish with a rod and a reel that is uh, basically very similar to the weight of the fish. Um, you got to find that happy middle spot every time. Bro, this is on a. Uh, this is on one of our stronger rods, and he just pulled us out. This might be a pretty good sized fish, actually. We're gonna get our first unicorn tonight. Our first unicorn right here. It's 
It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Woo! This guy's like almost on the bank. Come here, you. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the uni vibes. Ah, oh, come on, man. 19 pounds, $2,211, 659 XP. Dude, we lost the one rod, but now the other rod's going. Bro, pike are crazy. Pike are crazy. It's not about the XP, it's about sending a message. Sending a message that you're leveling up slowly. <laughs> Carrying your 2 a.m. boredom, okay. <laughs> Dirt up, Pavlovic. Finally made it to the stream. Hey, good to see ya. Bean dollar 99. Thank you so much, Beans. Hope you're doing well, man. How is the quest going, Bo? Also, where's King B? King Bjorn was getting in trouble earlier. He kept trying to sneak food off of our plates while we were eating dinner. And we were, uh, yeah, you know. Yeah, reprimanding him. Come on, buddy. Gonna get in trouble. Um, um, but, uh, but yeah. And then I heard that he was, uh, uh, wrestling with Oslo a little bit ago. So, that's what they're doing. 10 pound northern. Very nice. All right. So, we're 138 pounds right now. We're gonna reel this in and throw it out. Broken at a baseball game. Oh, man. All right. Why they don't have a cross-platform for Fishing Planet yet. You know, uh, cross-platform's just one of those things that are kind of difficult to implement in the game, evidently. We're not seeing it in the Hunter Call of the Wild, we're not seeing it in, uh, Fishing Planet, you know, we're just not seeing it in a lot of games, so... Uh, I would assume the cross-platform isn't easy to implement. <laughs> if, if it's, if it's taken this long for bigger, uh, for games like this to put it in, uh... But uh, games like Destiny or Call uh, Call of Duty or something to have put it in, I would assume that it's because they have more money. So yeah, <laughs> Patrick Mahu, Patrick Mahu, go 49ers. <laughs> Thanks, Dragon. Javion's in quarantine. All right, all right, man. Here we go. Surgeon, you can use shiners and cut bait. Oh, really? Jared Chasen. Ch Chasen? I don't know how to say that. How am I? I'm doing quite well, though. Thanks for asking. Beef can ramen noodles. Interesting. Okay. You know, whenever I go to my local Asian market, uh, Asian food market, I always grab a new ramen noodle that I haven't tried yet. This time, I went, this last time I went there, I grabbed this, uh, I honestly don't even know, uh, what it, what the title of it was, but the picture looked nice, so I just grabbed it, and, uh, and I swear that the sauce packet that you put in it is, like, unsweetened peanut butter. It just smells like peanut butter every second. It really throws me off, because I'm like, okay, why am I eating noodles with peanut butter in it? It's, it's really interesting, but hey, that's okay. Hey man, I don't know what the best setup for level nine is, dude. I'm sorry. You're gonna have to go back to the to the videos that were level nine and go see what rods we're using. Cause uh, I just don't keep that knowledge in my head. 15 pound trophy northern, throwing them in the in the bank. In the bank. Frontier fishing with the five dollars. Thank you so much, Frontier. Making my night, man. Just started a new account. I'm trying to find get trying to grind the heck out of it. I can read. Don't you forget it. I can read. I read good. I read real good. Just start a new account and you're grinding the heck out of it. Well, right on. EESS is going to help you a lot then, man. <clears throat> do you think you could do a boat fishing? I enjoy them so much. The one at Blue Crab was good. Uh, I suppose so. I think what we need to do is do a short video of fishing for muskie here at St. Croix. Because um, it actually is pretty fun and I find that the best way to fish for them is on a boat. Um, fishing towards the lily pads and towards the, the grass and whatnot, so maybe we should do a video on that sometime. Hey, recess is so weird to get used to you saying you just ate dinner. 
Oh my goodness. Tell me why it ain't nothing but a heartbreak. Ain't nothing but a mistake. John Coletti. I I don't ever want to hear you say that you want it that way, okay? That's all I'm saying, John. What the Elliot, Elliot, Elliot. What vid is it? I it, It's got to be in the beginner series, man. Look up the beginner series on the BZ Hub. It's listed by level. Every single video has the level that I was at when I did it. And so you can go in there, the one that's closest to level nine, and you can see what rods we're using. Just pause the video when I open up my inventory, man. Uh, but I can almost guarantee you that it's not the best stuff. You're just... Yeah, honestly, the store the store is separated by level, man. If it's if a rod and reel says it's level ten, then it's not the best reel and rod to use a level ten. Whatever is unlocked before level ten has got to be the best rod at that point and the best reel at that point. It it, it doesn't get any easier than that, you know. They keep it nice and simple. Need teams? That would be cool. We could have a little team team competition. That would be cool. Chance Bowling, hi. What's up, bro? How you doing? Doing quite well, John. Thanks for asking. So bad for you, but so good. I would be excited if this was actually on a good rod, but it's on a bad rod, so I don't know if this is a good fish or not. Because I'm on Xbox and I get kind of bored. You know, I never play with anyone either, so don't worry about Ice Josh. I guess I'm, I'm not a big, like, I'm not a big socialite. I, I'm, but here's the thing. I'm not necessarily playing with people in the game, but I do talk with all of you. So in a way, I am playing the game with other people, just not actually playing the game with you, if that makes any sense. <laughs> it's so hot in your room, you're about to be well done inside. I understand that, man. I got my, my fan is on medium right now. But uh, I could crank it up to high at any point. Just have to see how how hot this this uh, digital sun gets, I guess. <laughs> Every time you stream, you keep my hopes up of going big on. <laughs> Got me more into bass fishing in real life. Vortex fishing, right on, man. Yeah, my brother and I found a nice little bass fishing lake, and so we've been going there every once in a while just for some fun. It doesn't take as long to set up for bass as it does for a carp, so if we only have like an hour or two to go out and do something, like that's a great, great little fun thing to do. Um, if we have if we have more than two hours available, you know, we might go try to catch a carp or something bigger than a bass, but but uh, but yeah, it's still fun. Tell the viewer to hit the like. There are some soy sauce in the chicken ramen, yes sir. David Probus giving us cooking advice. I dig it. Everyone should live by the EESS. Frontier Fishing knows it. I'm about to get it tattooed to my arm. Not really. Probably gonna do it in permanent marker, that way I never forget. Permanent marker so that it stays there forever. Do you think fishing for bass to gain lots of money at Everglades is good? I'm go doing that now at level 24. Absolutely. That's why it's part of the EESS, Blake Robinson. Um, Emerald Lake, Everglades, St. Croix, San Joaquin. You know? Because those are the biggest places to make the most money early on. So, Trophy Northern up to 18. Not too shabby. And we still haven't uh, got a unique, but it's still fun to catch these pipe. Good sized guys. I hear King Bjorn in the background barking away. All right, so this is our least heavy rod. We are at 182 pounds. We might not catch another fish. I'm going to give it two minutes, and if we don't catch one, we're going to switch time again. <sighs> Big old pike just jumped out in front of us, though. What's your favorite fish? My favorite fish in the game or favorite fish in general? Go back to Lone Star and fish there. Oh God. I would rather fish at another place without bait. Just throw a hook in the water. <laughs> See if I catch fish. I would rather do that for 10 minutes than go back to Lone Star. 
Now, we go to Lone Star every once in a while. It's, it's funny because uh, I'll get a couple dozen people asking me, Hey, will you ever go back to Lone Star so that I can fish with you? And you know, I, I I do eventually go back to Lone Star. And you know how many people actually go fishing with me? Like one or two, every time. You go from 20 some people asking me to go to Lone Star to two people who actually do it. So I've just learned over time that it's not, it's just, everyone else finds it super boring because it's the lowest level lake. So people watching don't even enjoy it. And only two of the 20 people who asked me to go there show up. So it's just like, why even do it, you know? Just boring the heck out of everyone. Love the game, like your YouTube channel, Lucas Lee. Thank you, man. Tyler Fennel, how's it going? Not too bad. Thanks for asking. You'd love to see bow fishing in this game. Like I've said before, bow fishing isn't bow fishing. Bow fishing is hunting fish with a bow. It should be in the Hunter Call of the Wild, if anything. It doesn't belong in this game, though. You wouldn't ask them to throw a, a spear into this game to go fishing with a spear. This doesn't make any sense. Rod and reel. That's the way to do it. Because it has a big up. I did see that, Beans. I did. And uh, I will say, although I was trying to keep it a secret, Beans, um, that uh, my brother and I are going to be playing Bigfoot this, uh, this October during the Halloween extravaganza. So look forward to that, I guess. What is the highest level in the game? 70, I believe. On PC, can I jump into the game with you? Absolutely, Blake. Uh, you have to be a friend of mine, though. We might have to, uh... We might have to get rid of some friends on here. I'm gonna go down to the lowest. Tie, 2021. Um... Sorry, man. We're just gonna start unfriending people from the bottom. I don't know if it's alphabetical or by... Uh something we're gonna start by unfriending like five people i don't know if that was five but that's what i'm gonna say oh i unfriended more than that so anyway if you're on pc and you want to play send me a friend request <laughs> my dad found a leg a while back we found a honey hole my dad caught a 20 inch bass very cool yeah that's awesome i did not measure the last bass i caught but i uh, i don't think it was probably 20. He might have been 18. He might have been 18. He was pretty good size. He was only he was only 2.56 pounds. Not bad though. Beef can is amazing. Ethan Ovington, catfish. All right, I'm gonna say that we're not gonna catch anymore. Let's change the time and keep on fishing. I know, John. I know. Oh, they stole our bait. No wonder we're not catching any fish. <laughs> Jeremiah McClure, hi. Pulling fish because I get so mad when it pulls me like 60 feet from my poles. How do you walk while holding a fish? Uh, I don't know. You have to, like, on my game, I can, like, right click and run with it. Right clicking is what you do to hide, like, the score and stuff like that. I don't know what that is on console, but that's what I would recommend. All right, we're going to change the time here. It's now nighttime. We're gonna change the time to there. I'm trying to minimize the t time change. Alrighty. On to a new day. Casting out again. We got 15 minutes to catch some more pike here. Right? I think so. Boom, tattoo on the arm, E-E-S-S. -S. <laughs> Chance 23, hi. Love the content, Cole Gorner. Thank you so much, man. Sup dog, Zachary Dunn, Timbaki Lord. There's a name I recognize. I haven't seen Squish in a long time. I haven't talked with her I need to send her a message, see what she's up to. I see that uh, third rod's moving a lot too. We're probably gonna get a bite on that one soon. You should try and fish Plymouth and go to Yellow River. It's fun to catch catfish from there. Starting it off with the Trophy Northern, $1,500, not too bad. 
All righty. Cross the fish because I put four pound braid on it. Very cool. New player at this game, the beginner series is very helpful. Hey, or useful, I guess. That's awesome. Oh, rush. Oh, rush. They should add a cane pole. Cane pole would be cool. Keep grinding. Don't let anyone stop you on your path to victory. <laughs> Good. Hey, right on, man. Much love from Croatia. I would love to see it. That's awesome, man. Thank you. The Fisherman, 56. Hello there. Hello there, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Obi, I can't do a General Grievous accent. Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> oh, he does do coughing. <laughs> I don't know. General Grievous, what can he do? Have you caught the monster muskie from here yet? I have indeed. It was in the Halloween extravaganza. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out. When will you play Ultimate Fishing Simulator? I started fishing carps at Xeno Lake with the rod set up, rod pod set up, and it's awesome. Dude, sounds cool. Yeah, we played that game for a while, um, and then I kind of ran out of time to play it. So pretty much the same story with Hunting Simulator 2. That and I got bored, so, uh, somewhere in between them. Biggest fish was 148 pounds of Blue Crab Island. Bro, very nice. You believe she's a busy one? Yeah, she is pretty busy. That's that's squish for you. Hey you, bro. We might. So this might be a unicorn. He's being finicky, and this is on our stronger rod. That or it's another twenty-pound pike. Bro, he's just in these weeds, not moving. Come on, man. Oh, 18 pounds, dude. Come on, give me a unicorn. It's times like these that I think to myself, maybe they change the whole hook size thing. Maybe, maybe. You know what? For the sake of for the sake of it, I'm gonna throw on a larger hook on this one. Just just to try something new. Let's throw an eight-op barbless on here with the large minnow. We'll throw uh, we'll throw a larger hook on one of the rods. See if it helps. We could go straight to a 10 on it, I guess. But we're gonna stick with that. Saver Crito, favorite fishing planet. The best fishing planet YouTuber. Oh, thanks. What's your dad's biggest fish? Oh, God. I don't know. He's caught a Goliath grouper, so could be 350 pounds beans I, I have no idea they weren't they didn't weigh the grouper they just caught it and brought it up to the boat and then cut the line and let it go so I don't know don't know how much it weighed mine is eight pound bass at 25 inches dang icy joss uh, I, I literally just started weighing bass the other day so my biggest is 2.56 at the moment we're uh, we're slowly making our way up <laughs> <laughs> I, I got it on video too so be able to watch it uh, this Friday this Friday vlog I'll have it on the, uh, the Modern Day Outdoorsman channel so uh, look forward to that I'll be fishing with my brother as well so pretty cool your first muskie in real life John Clay that's awesome I would love to go catch a muskie so that's sweet where's the unis that's what I'm saying man Look at this bite slowing down too. We're only at 32 pounds and the bite just seems to slow down. We made it to 70 likes. Let's go. Only, what do we got? 55 to go? Only 55 likes to go. Get to that 125. Stream number 125 and 125 likes, man. That's the goal. How do you add people on the game? Uh, you go to your friends list, open up your uh, inventory. Come here, bro, get in here. So that was on a, an ADOT barbless hook, still a nine pound fish, didn't seem to do anything. But we'll just throw it out again. I'll show you here. I actually made a video on it, but uh, you go up to here. Look at that, we already got some. Got some friend requests that are in here. Good deal. So, uh, yeah, you just go over to your friends. You, uh, search their name. 
blah, blah, and then you uh, search them. Sometimes they don't pop up, so you got to uh, delete the last letter and search again, and that's, for some reason that makes them pop up sometimes. Um, and then you just send them a, a request, so easy as that. You're in my favorite fishing planet spot. What? Your favorite fishing planet spot is my favorite fishing planet spot too? That's crazy. Get in here, fish. 10 pound northern. Ooh, rod is bending like a candy cane. Not really, that would mean that they're behind me, but that's okay. Devs is here, how's it going, devs? We're about to hit 70, yes, we made it. I think I already read that. Checking in, Gerald Bates says, well, right on, Gerald. Good to see you, Marcus Wong, hey. Bings. Your biggest fish is a freshwater buffalo at 15 pounds? Right on, man. Hey, buffalo get bigger than that, bro. So uh, you can go back out there and catch a larger buffalo. That would be cool. I think buffalo are so pretty. I think they're like a rainbow fish. They, uh, when the sun hits them, their scales just show so many colors, it's crazy. It's like the, the inside of a clam or something. All right, the dot hook has got another fish here. Bow rush! Bow rush. Bow rush. Hello, says hello. Good deal. Very strong trophy, very true. Just hopped on because I missed my train. Missed your train? Aw. Oh. Well. Hopefully you get a second, another train soon. <laughs> Best way to level up with negative $77. If you can go to Lone Star, I would go to Lone Star, Marcus Wong. Otherwise, uh, just wait till tomorrow and the game will give you some more money. I would, I would assume is the best way to go about it. Bro, this guy just pulled us out to 120 feet on one of our stronger rods, so... Most likely, uh, a trophy fish, because every time that something like this has happened so far and thought that it was a unicorn, it just being, it ended up being a trophy fish, so... Actually, if we just try to play opposites here, we'll just, uh... We'll keep criticizing this fish for being small. Ah, man, look at this fish pulling so much even though he's super small, you know? I would say he's a unicorn, but he's probably not because he's acting like a weakling. If you just keep saying bad stuff about the fish in the game, when you finally catch them, they'll be much larger. It's just, it's, you know, it's like, uh, it's like hitting the A button multiple times during a loading screen or something like that. It makes it load faster, obviously. Um, so, or, you know, if you make car sounds while playing a racing game, it makes you go faster. It's just kind of little things like that, that, you know, really make the game better. So, uh, yeah, if you belittle the fish while you're reeling it in, while well, it will become a bigger fish. It's just how it works. And yeah, that's just kind of the magic of the game. So anyway, this little, uh, this little, little dude here, we're going to bring him in. Probably not a unicorn because he looks like a complete weakling. And just like that, told you, told you he was, yep, absolutely. And you know what, if it ends up not being a bigger fish, then you were right all along anyway. So this guy's super small, Psh, get out of here, 2013, that was like eight years ago. Come on, man. Credo just sent a uh, friend request too, right on, man. Barb was hooking a hook with a barb. Well, a barbed hook is gonna keep your fish on easier, but a barbless one is gonna give you 20% more XP, I think. So, uh, if you're wanting to level up faster, I'd probably try that. Well, thank you, Zachary Dunn. Yeah, man, we're on our way to 22 at the moment. I think we're only 500 and f 540 subs away from 22. So, we're doing good. What? Why did I come here? Oh, friend request. I unfriended like six people or something like that and I already got four more. That's good. That's good to see. Look at Jim Cap over here fishing and weeping willows. I swear it's, a, it's all right. He only fishes there. <laughs> it didn't show your inventory. That's impossible. I played that entire time without showing my inventory. 
I don't know. You're just going to have to go with what I said. You know, it's like this shop. Bring up your shop. You're level nine, right? You're level nine. Okay. Best rod and reel that you can use at level nine. None of these rods because they're all level 30. So you go into your fishing planet shop. You go down. You're level nine. Repeating this. So you see level 11, level 10, level nine. That's probably your best rod that you can use at your level. At level nine, that's the best rod you can use. And I can't say it's the best, I just mean that it's the strongest. It's most likely the strongest rod you can use at your level. Same thing goes with reels. If you're level nine, you're gonna keep on going through the list. Level 12, level 11, level 10, level nine. That's the, the strongest reel you can buy at your level. Doesn't mean that it's the best one, because if it's a four pound reel, but the majority of your fish that you're catching are, are two pounds or something like that, then you might hurt how much experience you get. So you just need to buy something that works. And you know, if you're not worried about XP and you just want to reel in the fish, what the frick was that about, dude? How was the bait miss? We literally just picked it up. Then, um, just buy, just buy the strongest stuff. If that's what you want to do, just do it. From 2014, it was a mobile PC game. It was one of the favorite games of your childhood for sure. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know specifically the 2014 version. I would have been in college. Might have played it on my on my uh, on my phone. Not sure though. The 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 hunter games on the mobile phones and stuff got kind of weird. They started adding like rocket launchers and like machine guns and stuff and after that I was like this isn't deer hunting I don't I, what is this this isn't I don't even know what I'm playing now <laughs> 10 pound northern pike all right getting closer to 100 pounds now so bites might slow down a little bit worms in a big lake sturgeon r.i.p baycaster oh my goodness yeah, that would do it, eh? When I was uh, when I was very young, my dad actually caught a uh, a river sturgeon here in Kansas, uh, fishing on the Smoky Hill River, and um, and it was the first sturgeon to be caught in so many years, and uh, and I honestly don't even know where it is now. It used to be in the Mall Aquarium um, in Salina because it was a big deal. And then they brought it to the county fair to show off. Um, and then we never really found out where it went after that, so. With no money. Say it again, hello. I'm sorry, I missed it. Do you play on Steam? I do play on Steam, yeah. It's weird that you're saying, but it's true 99% of the time. <laughs> Big Heifer is here. How's it going, Big Heifer? Look at this small fish that we're getting on here right now. Freaking weak. Get over here, weakling. Get over here, weakling. Can I do any hunting this year? I might go out for uh, fall turkey. I'm not 100% yet. I always, I always enjoyed spring turkey hunting more because they're they're more uh, they're more vocal and they respond to calls better and you know they kind of freak out when they see decoys and all that sort of stuff. And I, I always enjoyed that and I thought it would be easier to film during the spring as well. But this spring turkey season, I just did not have luck. I got two hens to come into my decoy, and that was about it. Um, there were Tom, I heard Toms and Jakes gobbling like crazy. I actually, uh, I actually took a shot at a Jake that was walking, and I just missed it um, because by the time I got the arrow off, it was kind of like freaking out and kind of doing one of its like not so much walking, but not also running, just kind of it's like really trying to get out of there. Basically, it knew something was up. So I probably shouldn't even have shot at it. I knew I wasn't gonna hit it. Whatever though. 
So I don't know, Bryson. We'll just have to see. I did get, um, this is actually a barrel mount, a uh, GoPro mount for, uh, for a shotgun or a rifle or something like that. I guess shotgun would make more sense since probably wouldn't be able to see something 200 yards away, but... Man, tell you what, this small fish that we have on here right now, I don't know why it's uh, putting up such a fight, because it's at 160 feet. What's up with that? Doesn't make any sense. So, I don't know. Might go walk some fields for pheasants or something. That would be kind of fun. Catches a pike paying $20, $20. $20.20. Came out on console yesterday, and the bugs are bad. Whew, good. Wouldn't be a hunter release if they were all correct, eh? At least you know that it's true to the company. No, I'm kidding. They'll get it fixed. Do you play it all? Here's on PC, on Steam, yeah. Grand Zeno, yo, hi. Duck Gang, how the dog? How the dog? How the dog? Big brain. What bait? What bait? You bet it's a muskie that took it. I'll tell you, when I first came to St. Croix, I caught muskies uh, in between the pikes like crazy. And then there just came a point where I just stopped catching muskies. I'm gonna jinx myself here and catch a muskie, but, but, uh, but yeah, I just don't catch musk. I, I swear like every, every 15th fish or every 15th pike or so, I would catch muskie. Um, and then all of a sudden then just went away and I never got to experience that anymore. So This super small fish that we have on here right now. I do, it is fighting like crazy though I'm gonna call this the Zach fish Because it's so small Come on Zach fish You made to live you're on a road trip four hours we uh we should have switched to the san joaquin five minutes ago but um uh, but we have this super small fish that we're fighting right now get in here small fish
Oh man. Sorry, my boogie button was super loud and it was coming through the microphone, so I turned off the microphone. Ah, oh, oh well. Okay, so, as I was saying, let me give you the rundown of what I was saying. We're using heavy chaser rods. Oh, jeez, David Probus. I will have a stroke. <laughs> well, thank you, David. Goodness gracious. I saw the chat blowing up and I assumed it was just everyone super stoked for the unicorn we caught, but you know what? Sure, you know, make it about it being muted or whatever. Yeah, I know that you were stoked about the unicorn too. Whatever, you know. <laughs> no. So, so yeah, we're using heavy chaser rods, spawn sacks, we just bought more uh, large minnows. Ready to move on. What is the name of the boogie button? I, I honestly don't know. I, I honestly don't know. I would have to search through my files to even find it too. Amanda Jurgens Jurgensen? Is it Jurgensen or Jurgensen? Elliot. <laughs> Ellie, I, I honestly, I, I'm without, I just, I don't know, I don't know how to help you, I don't. You just, you just need to look at the store and see what level 9 gear there is to buy. If you're level 9, you can't buy any gear that's above level 9. So anything close to level 9 is the best gear that you can get. Just buy it. Don't, don't worry about what I use. It doesn't matter. Just buy whatever will work for the fish you're going for, man. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Level 9 was last year in like February. February 2020. I don't remember what I used. Okay. We're, we're in San Joaquin now. Goodness gracious. I have to mellow out. We're in San Joaquin now. The thing about San Joaquin, what makes it a little bit different than the pike at St. Croix is that you're gonna be fishing at night. And when you're fishing at night, you don't have to worry about uh, wait times. Because it says cool down for next fast travel is 48 minutes. Well, it's not, that's a total lie because you can switch time immediately um, if you're fishing at night. So uh, once you have your spawn sacks, go ahead and just give them a toss. You'll find that the uh, that the spawning area for these sturgeon, for some reason, is like along this coast. I don't know why. See, see what I mean? Look at them. They're just they're right there. It's kind of silly. But anyway, we're gonna toss it out. I like to give them a little bit of heads up. You know, some people will literally just throw it right here on the side and I don't think that's really fishing at that point <laughs> so we're gonna give them a little bit of a chance we might end up fighting them for a little bit we might end up fighting them for a lot of bit we'll just we'll just see I guess um, we're using four out hooks at the moment where are we fishing next stream I don't know I don't know you need to move the mute button. No, I don't want to move it. It's right where it needs to be. I just need to remember that I hit it, I guess. I get I get carried away and forget about it. That's fish on. There we go. First sturgeon on. 31 pounds, $2,215. And that's a small one. So uh, you can see moving from St. Croix, you can catch a ton of pike at St. Croix ton of fun as well i find pike fishing at st croix more fun than sturgeon fishing at san joaquin but you can see here how catching sturgeon uh yeah it's very fast and i will say 465 xp is not a lot of xp we were getting a thousand to two thousand xp uh per fish um it's the smaller ones were around 400 XP as well. So I mean really You're gonna get I don't know man 
now I need to do another science. We need to do another. We need to do another uh, science, science thing, where we uh, we check we check the sturgeon versus the pike for science. Last time we tried it though, we got we had that the sturgeon paid more and gave more XP. So I don't know. Should you go to Kanit Creek when you unlock it? Absolutely, man. It's a fun place. You catch giant king salmon. Is it a good spot? Uh, it's a good spot for salmon, for sure. To play fishing plan on his PC, he was fishing for and put the headphones on and his falling out. Okay, I've read that. Good deal. Jargonson. <laughs> okay. We need fly fishing in the game. I agree. You should go fishing for huge catfish. Oh, yeah? Like the Wells catfish. I tell you, every time I try to go for the Wells catfish, I never have any luck. But we could, uh, I bet I could even talk David Probus into joining us at, uh, Quanchkin Lake. I think David Probus' favorite lake to fish at is Quanchkin. So we could probably go to Quanchkin Lake and fish there. White Surgeon, 500, uh, XP, $2,500. My goodness gracious. I've got some rowdy dogs in the background. What's your favorite PewDiePie meme? I don't know if I have a favorite PewDiePie meme. I just like PewDiePie. Hey, what's going on? How you doing? Come here. Treat. Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, see, here's the the one the one benefit to uh, slow fishing, I guess. Oh no! Ah, King Bjorn just jumping up. Okay, all right. You want to say hi? How's your day going? You don't care. You just want the food, huh? Ouch! He's digging his claws into me. Doing okay? Having fun? How's your brother? Your brother okay? Okay. Let's give Oslo a turn. Come on, Oslo. Oslo? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. No, Bjorn. <laughs> God dang. Okay, second rod is going crazy right now. Just a sec. I have to reel this fish in. The reel this fish in. Okay, we got him. There, look how patient you two are. Wow, good boys. Okay, Oslo, come here. No, Bjorn. Gosh dang it. <laughs> Get up here. Oh, there we go. There's our Prince Oslo. Yeah. Oh boy, that was good, huh? That was good, huh? Yeah. <laughs> we like that, don't we? Yeah. Oh, there's Big Brother. Okay. Okay, Bjorn. There we go. <laughs> it's like a evolved Pokemon. Ugh. There you go, buddy. Yeah. Yum yum. Is that good? I got one more for you, okay? There you go. Do you have anything to to tell all the the royal subjects out there? Be good. One planet, one family. Game on. Yep. Okay. All right. You're heavy, guy. Come on, let's go. Go. Gracious. Ugh. Back to fishing. Been a long while, Dev Boss Copeland. I agree, man. Where you been? We've been looking under rocks and under overpasses. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we've been looking in trains. Where else can you look? Along lakes and stuff. Where you been, Dev Boss? 
Remember good how much repairs I had to do after fighting 24 pound wells in Tiber? Oh my goodness. Lord Bjorn. Lord Bjorn. Let's try... I'm actually just gonna switch to the next day. I honestly don't care. Alrighty, so if we do this day, then we'll get two days of fishing. Eh, we can try right now. Here we go. So you can try to divide... If you got a good night, you can try to divide it up into fishing. Uh, fishing at three different times. I would always recommend skipping an hour. So we're gonna fish at this time. We're gonna skip an hour, fish at another time, and then skip an hour and fish at a, a third time, hopefully, is the goal. But uh, this isn't a great time to be fishing, so any fish we catch during this is really kind of a bonus. Getting two good fishing times in an evening is uh, is a decent decent time, but if you can get three, then you're, you're perfect. Ugh, zoom in a little bit more. High school like two years ago. If you do, I was one of those kids. Jaco J is it Jacoby Whitmore? Am I saying am I saying your first name right? Yeah, I do, man. That's sweet. <laughs> that, that's awesome. Yeah, that was um my um my sister-in-law, my sister-in-law Katie's class. Very cool, man. That yeah, that's that's awesome. I, it's so funny because every time I see her, she brings up, she somehow that that conversation gets brought up again. So, that's awesome, dude. Good to see you. What what grade are you in now? Please make a video dedicated to the doggos. We have one video dedicated to them. We did the I did I have a little Bjorn video. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, you're just gonna have to look up Bjorn. I did a fun little video about him, but I need to do another one for Oslo. Because Oslo and Bjorn are so different. So, I need to do that. Should you save up for Alberta or Croy? Croy. Saying Croy, man. You hear Alberta and EESS? No. But but St. Croy is in, in is in the first the first S of the two S's. Doggy smile, we all happy. <laughs> Because you get $100 off of the spotted bass. Very true. Yeah. I mean, that's why I got um, buying the advanced license, um, the unlimited advanced license for Lone Star was one of the first things I did. Um, just because, yeah, if you are short uh, $100 or $200, I mean, you can easily spend $100 or $200 just going to somewhere. And then you have to catch even more fish. But if you just go to Lone Star, which is free to go to, and you have an unlimited license, uh, two or three bass, and you're you're good to go. You can all, you know, you have an extra two hundred bucks to spend on something. So, definitely, the pike are better. <sighs> hey, man, I would have told you that too. But we literally did a science experiment with science. We used science to decide if the pike or the sturgeon were better and the sturgeon were better with science we we did timed we did timed fishing and we used you know we used different side or we used you know whatever whatever you want to say and we did it three different trials and in all three trials uh the sturgeon came out as the winners so i would have said that the pike were better because i like fishing for pike more than sturgeon anyway i find this extremely boring um but you know what? Like I said before, they could have changed it. They could have updated the game now so that sturgeon are an absolute pain to fish for. Who knows? All right, so the game here is that we're going to switch to this time now and fish for some more, hopefully catch two or three. And then we're gonna change the time yet again. And fish some more. You can see how sturgeon fishing it's annoying and boring and there was many a stream spent on this uh, edge of San Joaquin catching sturgeon after sturgeon trying to level up so that we could go to blue crowd again I'm sure some of you actually remember that what is the biggest fish you caught on fishing planet back to pots I think it's a um, air pima trophy air pima 400 and some pounds I think I think anyway Maybe it's not 400 pounds. I don't know what it is. 233 pounds. So, you know, just half of what I said. 
but yeah that's what that's what it is so far we're we're only level 59 though so we haven't unlocked the two highest lakes where you start catching some of the really big fish so we're getting there I uh, love the content you got me into this game and I've used your beginner series till Emerald Lake hey right on Dillard Dillard yeah good deal 54 pounds Taven's outdoor life I think that's mine too let's see that's a scroll quite a ways to get to 50 pounds there we go white sturgeon 54.764 it's the largest white sturgeon can you tell it's a white sturgeon that's oh, like blinding good golly freshman oh right on good deal well cool man Level 18, still some you know. Fish Albert until I got enough money to go to Croy for one whole day. Very cool. I remember that. Um, I did not know that pike were uh, the best thing to fish at St. Croix the first time I went there, and uh, I absolutely hated that place. This guy seems a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. 52 pounds! Pull right on! Bro, XP for white sturgeon absolutely sucks. What happened? Why did this white surgeon suck so much now? 779 XP for a 52 pounder? Dude, they nerfed these dudes beyond belief. Well, no. I, I think we need to do, uh, next Wednesday, we need to do another trial run of, uh, of uh, Pike versus Sturgeon. I think so. I think we need to do for science. We need to test the, the pike versus sturgeon again and find out once again what is best for money and what is best for XP. Because at this point, 52 pounds, that's nearly the largest white sturgeon that you can catch. And 779 XP? What? That doesn't make sense. That almost, it, it almost feels like obviously we only got two arrows, which doesn't make sense because it's a 52 pound fish and I'm using a 57 pound rod. That's not that much more. 779 XP though. Taven, I don't, I don't want to hear it. Until you do your own uh, science experiment, I don't want to hear it, just an opinion. <laughs> You can't say it unless you have proof. Here we go. 47 pounders, 700, bro. The thing is, is that, I mean, literally though, we just made $7,000. Those two fish were $7,000. So I, I don't, you know, if you were able to do this quickly, if you were able to make $7,000 like we just did right there, switch to another night and, and fish some more and just keep doing that, in a half hour's time, you could make $50,000. You know, could you make that same $50,000 on Pike in a half an hour? You might think you can in your mind, but once you start doing it, you might find that you're not. You're catching 10 pound fish that are only $1,000 and you're trying to catch 50 of them in a half an hour. You know, it's just, it's just not gonna happen. Um, that's why the science experiment, the science experiment itself is so important. Tan, the tan gamer? Hi. 16 weeks, I'm on my way to become a conservation officer for the state of Arkansas. This time next month, I should be patrolling. Hey, dude, right on, dude. That's awesome. That's exciting. Well done, dev boss. So you're, uh, so you're giving up on your, your rap dream? What's the deal, man? I thought you had a plan to become a rap man, but now you out patrolling to be a conservation. Rolling, I don't. <laughs> oh God. Uh, half border collie. And whenever she gets excited to see someone, she ends up running into their legs and hurting herself. Super. <laughs> it sounds like the other half is uh, is in control. <laughs> Sudden Spider, how's it going? Michael Myers, hi. Biggest fish and fish plan is 41 pounds. Very cool. Hayden Redmond says he's got a rod and all that. 
back. Okay. What? <laughs> I won't be able to walk for three to five months. Dang, Austin. What's the deal, man? All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna reel in, we're gonna switch the time again. $500 sturgeon on average. Yeah. <sighs> like I said, Taven, we're we're gonna do the science. We're gonna do the experiment. Don't you worry, man. We'll we'll see how close you were. All right, let's switch time again. I'm actually gonna switch the last time. Best lure to catch largemouth? It kind of changes depending upon where you are. Oh god, that's not the right rod. Um, I find that the lures for largemouth kind of change depending upon the place you're fishing at. I don't know what the deal is, but we're reeling these guys in really easily. 44 pounder there, $3,000. this dude gonna be spunky right as I mentioned that they're really easy to reel in no he's giving up 53 pound I mean we just made another seven thousand dollars can you imagine if after I caught those first two fish and then switched to this time immediately and then caught these two fish 30 seconds later we literally would have made fourteen thousand dollars in four minutes like and then if you just kept continually doing that, you, you'd you honestly make more money than Pike. Honestly, the math just doesn't check out. The math that you would catch, make more money. Your $8,500 average of sturgeon just got destroyed right there because we literally got $14,000 of sturgeon in five minutes. I don't know what to say. I don't know what else to say. We can try to catch some more, I guess, but if we were uh, if we were wanting to uh, maximize on time, we would just switch time right there after catching those two. I would think anyway, I think if you're trying to catch three and four sturgeon, which I've done before, you're just you're just asking to sit there for a longer time. Hon honestly, just watching and not talking for a while now. No trouble. Surgeon worth of the time wise, if you just enjoy others better, should not matter. Should not matter. Fish for what you want, man. That's around six hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. Also, yeah, nailed it, nailed it, McMullen Moto. You could let it, you could use the letter er if you wanted to for the O instead, but uh, that's that's fine. That's how we spell it most of the time. Um, but they're Norwegian outcounts. Ah, they got the heart of a bear and a little dog body. <laughs> I rap, I still spray the stream just cause I'll be patrolling. Don't mean my flow ain't still rolling. <laughs> right on, man. But I see, I'll find your... <laughs> Back to pots, what was your, what was your question? I already forgot, I'm sorry. Slam before you even put it in the stand. Very true. I would find that hilarious, Austin. Hilariously awesome. So, like, this was the same night we just dealt with, and I tried this, but we didn't catch anything. Or maybe we did, I don't remember. I think I'm just gonna switch to this. Let's go here. And then we're gonna switch forward. All right. 
So let's throw in, I'm just gonna catch a quick two, move on. In fact, I'm just gonna record this. We're gonna actually see how much time, time it takes. Stopwatch and go. All right, our goal is to catch two sturgeon, reel everything in and catch another two sturgeon. And we're gonna time how, how long that took. Oh, I mean, well, yeah, we just caught a 33 pound pike just a little bit ago and got like 1900 XP. I have no doubt that the pike give you more XP. Because the white surgeon don't seem to be giving you any XP at all right now. I mean, obviously not, not literal, but. Look at this dude pulling more than we've dealt with yet this dude's on the bank right now basically if we could have caught a third one on this one I would have kept going but Sorry, I'm not being very talkative. I'm just trying to do this as fast as possible. I found a hot spot for while I'm at Emerald right now. Yeah, man. I mean, if you're level 24, you should go to Everglades. You missed a lot of the stream? If so, yes, you have. is just being spunky right now just like he's just like four feet beyond where we can pick him up come on dude seriously <laughs> you're ruining my time we literally had him at 17 feet too Dev boss, you you know we already went through this. When I'm when I'm able to type, I give you the real dis. <laughs> oh, you try to take advantage of me while I'm still fishing, but when I'm really rapping, you know I'm straight. Fishing. I can't say that word during the stream. Gosh dang it. Get in here, bro. Come on, dude. We have had to fight these last two sturgeon more than any other sturgeon we've caught this entire time. Get in here. All right, stop the clock. Mm. Okay, here's the findings. 
In, in four minutes and 36 seconds, we caught $13,630 worth of sturgeon. So technically, if you were fishing for a half hour, then what is that? 30 divided by 4.5, we'll say. That's 6.66 times 13,630. So if you were to fish at San Joaquin for half an hour, you would catch approximately $90,866 worth of white sturgeon based off of this four minutes and 36 seconds right here. Now, obviously science entails that we do another day or something like that. And then we could do another day. We could do a couple of different trials and find the average of that. And then we could go back and see, or I mean, there's, there's plenty of ways we could do this. We could do it based off of five minutes. We could see how many fish we catch in five minutes and you know, we could do it with pike and then we could do it with, with, uh, with sturgeon. It, it, it's whatever, or we could do a straight half hour or something like that. Um, so many different ways you could do it, but that's just one example. So four minutes, 36 seconds. We caught $13,000 worth of sturgeon. We've got six minutes left in the stream. So that means we could probably get away with doing one more. Let's go ahead and do it. Actually fun. I'm teaching. I'm te I teach the kids. I teach the kids with the fishing. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't understand maths, Bo. I just don't get it. No, 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 no. If you have a six aught hook and then you subtract a four aught hook, what size of hook do you have afterwards? Oh my god, I get math now, Bo. A two aught hook? No, it doesn't make sense at all. Why would you subtract a four aught hook from a six? That's not how this works. That's not how fishing works. You're not understanding anything. That's how my math class would go. If you caught a 24 pound lake trout and then you caught a 36 pound lake trout, how many pounds better is that second lake trout than the first lake trout? It'll be the math class of BZ Hub. Marlin, tuna, shark, and mackerel. Duck gang. Yes, highly request. Uh, what I want you to understand, Duck Gang, is uh, is a million people have said that. <laughs> a million people want there to be marlin, tuna, shark, and mackerel in the game. Uh, they also want fly fishing in the game and ice fishing. Um, so basically, if you're playing Fishing Planet and you think something that would be a good idea, uh, everyone else also thinks it's a good idea. <laughs> I was in Emerald at level 30 and I wasn't good on money. I, I float rod and went to St. Croix and I'm doing really good on money. Well, right on, Rid X. Get the bigger string and go Everglades. Oh, picked up the wrong rod. my rod stand at Everglades. Uh, yeah, Everglades has a bias against rod stands. Get in here, bro. Come on. Don't know which one was beeping first. shiners in one sitting oh my goodness 
zero dislikes. That's what I'm talking about. I'm saying, man. Oh, whipped cream man. That's terrible, bro. Never stop. Oh, thanks, Dev Boss. Appreciate it, dude. Back again. Traducken's back. Tell a friend. So true. Love your stuff, Bo. <laughs> hey, thank you so much, Dev Boss. And it's good to see you back, man. I love seeing. I love seeing it. Ah, uh, first you thought I was shirtless, eh? You got that skin tone shirt. My, my BZ Hub bow, bow skin. That's actually the color of the shirt. It just says bow skin tone. It goes blue, green, bow skin tone. <laughs> $3,333. All right. I think that's uh, that's just about going to do her. I don't know why it took so long to catch three fish, but yeah. took took about four minutes to catch three fish, so $8,429, you know? Ah, uh, should have timed it. That would have messed up the average. Anyway, that's good. It's good to see. So anyway, uh, yeah, St. Croix, San Joaquin. Hopefully, that gave um, a good little rundown of those two areas. We had a uh, last stream, Emerald Lake, Everglades. If you haven't seen those, check those out. Those are going to be some lower level places. When you're looking for a place to make lots of XP or lots of money, Emerald, Emerald Lake Everglades are going to be the two places to uh, go EE -E in the EESS and then of course the last uh, last two in the acronym SS St. Croix and San Joaquin which we showed during this stream how to make some money how to make some XP so that you can level up your character and move on to other places of course don't forget that there's also a lot of other places to go fishing and it's easy to get burnt out if you're just going to fish those four places um, I cannot stress that enough because you're gonna get bored in this game if you're only fishing at four out of the places in this game it's ridiculous <sighs> that's it that's all i got robert waddle you rock man keep gaming <laughs> thanks man appreciate it we can only hope for a shirtless stream i went i went shirtless in that one ocean part of my florida vlog that was it that was that's the closest you're gonna get <laughs> Oh, fish for catfish next stream. Hey, it sounds pretty cool, McMullen. We might have to do that. Quanchkin Lake for catfish. Anyway, so I can't taste. Oh, that is the worst. I thought no one was going to dislike. No. See you next time. Hey, sounds good. Hey, thank you all for being here. Big thanks to David Probus for being our moderator tonight. Really appreciate it, David. Uh, always good to see everyone here and helping out. And Dev Boss was in the house again, which I love to see. Um, that's it. We'll see you next time. Monday, back for the uh, Great One search as well as... Uh, something small i don't know um also big reminder uh this here Uh, we got the Red Dead Reptember tomorrow, so something to look forward to. Um, yeah, I think that's just about it, though. With that out of the way, um, first first episode of Red Dead Reptember. I think it's a pretty good little video. Of course, feel free to skip around if you've played Red Dead Redemption 2 and you don't want to see the story stuff again. I completely understand. You can just skip to the fun parts of me shooting stuff or whatever you want to do. Up to you. But it, it is a fun game. I enjoy it so far. I've only played like an hour and 20 minutes of it, so I haven't done a lot. But uh, yeah, looking forward to that. A whole month of Red Dead Redemption 2. Red Dead Reptember. So anyway, see you all on Monday. Looking forward to it. Big thanks again to David Probus, and we'll see you next time. As always, everyone, remember. One family, game on.